Episode 2, The Castle on the Mountain. Virtskrovich, somewhere on a mountain trail. Several hours had passed since the group of geology students, led by the professor, left the town square and set out on their expedition. The crisp air combined with the broiling sun to create hiking conditions that were far from pleasant, especially on an uphill hike with a lot of baggage. I can't get that woman's words out of my head. Evil from the castle in the mountains. Maybe I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Mina touched the amulet hanging around her neck that the local had given her. And that the castle in my dreams, is it a coincidence? Flow of her thoughts was interrupted by Courtney's whining. Ugh, how much farther do we have to go to reach camp? I'm fed up with this cold, this wind, the sun, the whole hike, all of it. Her voice quivered with tears rising up in her throat. I should have gone to Florida to see my parents. What was I even thinking? Getting myself out into this mess? Wow. You were thinking? Ha ha ha! At least I'm here on my own free will, not by court order. Ladies, stop it. We're all here together for the same reason, and we should look after each other. Mountains don't give forgive mistakes. Chad, be a darling. Carry my things. She handed her stuff to the guy with a victorious smile. The kind of behavior won't lead anywhere good. What do you mean? It's dangerous in these mountains. Nothing I can't handle. I've never seen him so anxious before. I should... Incite him? Support him? We'll support him. You're holding up pretty well, Mr. Collins. I wouldn't be able to handle this like you. This is the first time I've run across such a disruptive group. We might not be the friendliest bunch or the kindest, but I appreciate you trying to smooth things over between everyone. Well, I have to. After all, it's my job and professional duty. A thank you for your support, Mina. Teacher's pep. What? The only thing I dislike is the swiveling so much, and so long, and so slow. Mina took a deep breath and started looking around, taking in the local sights. It's really nice here. The nature in the mountains was unlike anything Mina had seen before. She felt small in the face of such magnificence. Tall peaks covered in snow with celestial domes of playful little streams. And the air, fresher than ever, filled with the sweet and tangy scent of flowers and herbs. When else will I have the opportunity to admire something like this? It's true, nature is wonderful. Mina stopped and gazed at the landscape, not noticing as her group disappeared from sight. Oh, where is everyone? It seemed to her that she had only been distracted for a couple seconds. However, in the mountains, that was long enough to be left completely alone. Who's there? Oh. I shall make friends with you, and we shall ride off in the sunset. A wolf, so close to town. Mina rummaged through her pockets, frantically hoping to find something that would help her defend herself. Damn it. Nothing in hand. What should I do? Defend yourself. Make a noise. Hold up the talisman. You know what? I'm gonna believe in the old woman. I have a very strange feeling. Mina always tried to trust her instincts. Clutching the talisman she'd been given with a death grip, she held it forward. It's reacting to an unbelievable. The wolf moved a circle around behind her as if trying to stay out of the talisman's reach. Why, you don't like it, huh? It was angry, but unable to get even a step closer. Did you wander off? Chad and Tony's silhouettes appeared on a hill in the distance. Watch out, there's...
But there was nothing near her anymore. What the? Where did it go? The guys ran closer. Are you okay? You look scared. There was an animal. A huge wolf. I guess we scared it off. Let's keep moving. We need to stick together. What color were the wolf's eyes? I think they were green. Why? Nothing. Chad is right. We need to stick together. A couple of minutes later, they caught up with the rest of the group, which had stopped after noticing her absence. You won't believe it. I, I think a wolf just tried to attack me. I don't want to cause any offense, but I didn't see any wolf. And the mountains little is up to a person's will. There are forces greater than us. Your blood would run cold if I told you how many unexplained disappearances happen every year. Brr. I don't want to think about it. Why are you even such a downer? Uh, speaking of that, uh, it wouldn't kill you to smile more often. And it wouldn't kill you to take off your rose-colored glasses. Hmm. Well, mean I don't fall behind the group anymore, or next time things could turn out much worse. Something's off here. Mina's heart was restless. Some inexplainable feeling was eating her from the inside. We should figure out what's going on. The wolf appeared out of nowhere and just as suddenly it disappeared in the thin air. Yeah, dang, that familiar story. The worst part is that no one believes you afterwards. This place, do we know anything about it at all? I knew it. No one bothered to complete the assignment on the on this region. I'm not talking about textbook knowledge. I think there's something here that's not in textbooks. And I think we should dig deeper into it. If I know what the locals are hiding. Everyone's hiding something. Good that you started noticing it. Maybe. Thank you for your, your support, Tony. Don't mention it. Hey, this... Seems like a good place to take a break. Maybe we should stop here? Yes, I suppose. Alright guys, help me set up our camp. Yay! Yay. Courtney was getting tired from carrying her stuff on Chad's back. Why didn't the wolf just attack you? Ladies, enough already! Let's sit down, chill for a bit. Everyone's mood will improve. Johnny, don't just stand there. Lend a hand. Oh, uh, okay. The young man, along with the professor, began setting up all the tents necessary to comfortably accommodate the group. Sometime later, when everything was all ready, they lit a campfire. Wow, this is really cozy. Good work, guys! Ew, now we can finally chill. Let me, uh, sit by the fire. While her companions went about their business, Mina settled on a log near the crackling fire. She reached out to it, feeling the warmth pass through her fingertips and spread throughout her body. Feels good. The wind suddenly grew very strong, making her eyes water. What's going on? Everyone ran to the dying fire. I don't get it. What does this mean? It's a storm, you idiot. No. Good thing we have tents. Meanwhile, the weather only intensified. Visibility worsened until it was impossible to see anything even an arm's length. Snowflakes, like sharp needles, stung their faces and clamped, clumped into their hair. The wind howled like an angry ghost attempting to sweep away everything in its path. Each step felt like swimming against the current of a river. Ugh, in moments like these, you realize how vulnerable we are in the face of nature. Fantastic! Just wonderful! What is this? The poor man, Swiss Alps? Nice! I checked the forecast with Eugene. He said the weather would be perfect for the near future. There was no mention of a storm. So, he lied. Or maybe he genuinely didn't know. Sir, maybe we should still go back to, uh, Vitskrovich? At least we to wait out the bad weather. I think that we can't risk it. We should wait it out here. We should wait it out here. We've come a long way. What if the storm passes as quickly as it started? Maybe we should look for a cave. 
we can sit there and wait until it's over. You literally have tents. It's decided. Let's pack up and go. The students quickly dismantled their camp and left the side. Vitskovich Mountains about an hour later. The roads were almost covered with snow, and due to the poor visibility, no one could tell if their surroundings were familiar. The mountainous uh, landscape turned into a abstract blots of dark trees and light patches of snow. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm fe freezing my tail off, frozen nose, ears, frozen toes. Are we sure we're moving in the right direction? From what I can tell, yes, we're supposed to be... Achoo! We're getting off this mountain, I'm leaving. I don't care about any penalties. I'd rather be... No one. Guys, look, over there. There's finally light at the end of the tunnel. I've been dreaming of this for so long. <laughs> Maybe it's a lodge or a hunting cabin? We don't have any options right now. Light is already a good sign. Ugh, let's go! The whole expedition, barely able to keep their footing, stumbled towards the light like a lost ship to a lighthouse. Mm, yes. Come to me. Not in that way. Calm down, everyone. Just calm, kidding. Fight the hunting cabin. A huge, dark castle surrounded by an iron fence rose up in front of them. What the? In the space of a second, the amulet around her neck seemed to become warmer. Her heart raced like an engine in high gear. It's like the one from my dreams. Maybe I saw it in a Belovakian language textbook or some tourism brochure? I don't get it. Did they turn off the lights as soon as we walked up or what? Dad approached the doors and pulled on them sharply. What? Maybe... We pried them up with something. We should look for a key. Do we need a password? Yes. Password's a password. One, two, three. <laughs> Under the doormat? Maybe even under the doormat. The students observe an eye landed on a large planter and it's a long dead plant. It's worth a try. Strangely enough, just like an old lake house, the key was indeed there. We can wait out the storm in here. Whether it's abandoned or inhabited, we don't have any other options right now. That's right. So students follow me. <laughs> Fine. God, will you stop crying? Oh, it's a spider. Look at him. He's so cute. Listen, they are our friends. Anyone who says otherwise needs to be lectured. Ooh. I love this castle already. This is a home away from home. Looks like we got lucky. Awesome. Mr. Collins, you didn't mention that they had anything like this here. If I knew, I wouldn't have complained so much on the way. Oh god, flashback. This place feels familiar to me. Oh, come. I can't remember. I know! It's just like in that movie with Judith Lowe. Oh, right. Is there a basement here, like the one from the final fight? Oh, there must be, dude. Castles like this always have a basement with treasure. And also, Ghost, I'm telling you, they're always in the towers. That's the Tower of London, you idiot. It looks... Abandoned. Uh, and not a single sheet has fallen off at all this time, and nothing has been chewed by rats. It's hard for me to imagine anything in the right mind living in a, such a place. Sue? Oh, screw off. Well, maybe he's, like, not in his right mind, and, you know, some paranoid person controls everything. And doesn't set an alarm. Not being dumb, you're getting on my nerves. Mina's right. 
There's nothing to eat around here that a person could survive on. But someone did turn on the lights, so I'm not the only one who saw them, right? Or maybe the lightning reflected in the windows. All right, group, listen to me. Our first task is to warm up, dry off. We don't need anyone coming down with pneumonia. I'll take a look around for uh, now. Maybe you'll find the owner. Don't touch anything. Don't mess around. The professor, professor turned on a flashlight and ventured into the dark hallways, leaving the students to themselves. Alright. It's time to get ourselves and this place in order. Who will fetch firewood? Yeah, I wouldn't trust her with firewood. Chad's the athletic type. Let him go do it. I'll see what we can use to eat the fireplace. You guys settle in for now. A real man. You should be appreciated. I'll take care of the fireplace itself in the meantime. That's right. A light wouldn't hurt right now, man. I mean, my whole stash is soaked. Find one of the lighters. What should I do? Gather the sheets, light the candles, help with the fireplace. Light the candles. So we can actually see. Let there be light. However cliche that may have sounded. What the heck? I'll try something. Touch the flame. Sure. Mina cautiously reached out her hand towards the flame. Ouch. Well, it's not an illusion, just a regular candle. Maybe it's from that town, from the uh, unpronounceable name. Everything there is strange. What should I do? Gather the sheets. We could use something to dry off and place a... to set our things. Mina walked over near the wall and pulled the edge of a heavy sheet. Mmm, wonderful. Dust. Wow, fantastic. Who would have guessed it's so beautiful underneath? But I think I got carried away. Hmm. The side of the sheet isn't dusty at all. I can use it. With the help of the sheet, Mina dried her hair and styled it. Re really? I, I have a question. Hold on. Where's my hair? Also, I see our diamond event is over. Oh, wow. Choose all, 264. Sweet baby Jesus. So, okay. Um, I have a problem. Where'd my hair go? Did I suddenly get a haircut? I'm a little, I'm a little tilted by this one. I mean, I'm gonna have to go with this one, right? Because I, I'm not gonna pay for hair that I already paid for that I'm paying for again. I'm just saying. What should I do? How will the fire blast? Hopefully I can get my hair back. What's taking you so long? You know, walked over to the fireplace. I don't understand. He was trying to start a fire, but as soon as it began to ignite, it would go out. I can tell you've never had a fireplace. How did you know? We just need to move the damper, blow on it properly, check the chimney. It seems like it hasn't been used for a long time. Using a small twig, Mina started poking around the inside of the chimney. What's that sound? I don't know. Ah! Oh, that would be bats. The flying rodent. Again? I mean, again. Again? What are you... The warmth from the fireplace began to spread throughout the room. Chairs came crashing down from the second floor. Watch out! Chad, what the hell? You'd better thank me for finding some fuel. These belong to someone, and they're probably ancient. 
If anyone asked, it was like this when we got here. I don't like you now. I don't like you. Uh, imagine if well, that's why the castle owner gets mad and tries to kill us all or something? Just stop saying every stupid idea you get before you get a punch in the face. Okay, okay, I'll shut up, but why are you all so uptight? We, we all need to relax. Wow, we've really made ourselves at home, let's be honest. The air in the room finally started to warm up. The other students hung their wet clothes to dry. Mina also got out of her wet clothing and moved closer to the fire. We're always in our underwear. This right here. Feels cozier now. Unfortunately, you guys ruined the ambience. But at least we didn't die from the cold. I don't know if that would be worse, considering what happened to my hair and nails. Listen, I, you didn't get a haircut. I did, so, you know. Whatever, man. I'm just loving everything right now. This is just the beginning. Ugh, I'm lonely and cold. Don't worry, I'll warm you up. Enchanted by the warm fire, the students passed in gentle bliss that chased away the fatigue of their trek through the storm. Does anyone know how much time has passed? We weren't really paying attention, why? Where's Mr. Collins? True, he left and seemingly disappeared. It's not like him. You won't believe it, man, but chills ran down my arm when you said that. We need to find him. I just uh, don't wander off like in a horror movie. Stay together as one group, one team. Have you noticed that it's around noon now, but because of the storm, it's as dark as late evening? It feels like night is about to fall. Goosebumps again, man. Like... Here, you can feel them! Alright, let's gather up and go. And we're now picking up our outfit. Instead of wearing what we once had, we are forced to pick something- What the hell is this? We are forced to pick something new. Okay, I kinda dig it, but anyway. Listen, we'll be in the up chasing our outfit in five minutes anyway. Mini skirt. <sighs> Why do I have to change my outfit at all? Seriously, why not just go back to what I was literally wearing? Couldn't find anything shorter? <sighs> just envy me in silence. Not the best choice for wandering around in an abandoned building. They changed and set off in search of their professor. I, if someone could explain to me why we can't get back our original outfit, that'd be great. It's literally what we paid for in the first place. This place is a real maze. Okay, I went to the wardrobe and selected my original outfit because, you know, you know. Ugh, it's making my head spin. Damn, we'll be wandering around here as a group until tomorrow. I like to split into pairs and... You didn't want to split up earlier. That's how it all starts in the movies. I'm in charge now, so we'll go in pairs and stick together. Dips on being with you! Hmm, well, alright. Guys and girls pairing off isn't a bad idea. Okay, then I'll go with Tony. He seems like, seems like he knows where uh, he's going. Tony has already started walking down the hallway. You're supposed to go where I say, damn it, he's already gone. So, it looks like I'm with Johnny. That's right, sis. We got lucky! Where should we go? The library, the bathhouse, the trophy room. We'll go with the library. Mr. Collins, are you here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. I've always loved libraries. There's something about them. Claustrophobic, like the library was the scariest place in school. Scarier than the cafeteria. Thank you. 
I love libraries, so... Be gone. I'll go solo now. I can't believe it. They're all in perfect condition. Anatomy of monsters, blood rituals, history of Belovakia. Uh, let's go with history because maybe it'll tell us something we didn't already know. Wow, what do they say about themselves? Ancient pages rustle beneath her fingertips. A story of a forgotten and cursed ruler. Her focused reading was interrupted by Johnny. Uh, psst, I think someone's here. Damn, I had the most interesting part. Finish reading, take it, put it aside. You know what, I'm gonna finish reading. Just a moment. A minute later, uh, Mina had quickly absorbed the information without even fully understanding it. Mina! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. She threw the book on the shelf and ran to her friend. Hopefully we can later, um, know what what the hell we just chose for 17 diamonds. So what's going on? Am I hallucinating? Or is it really here? That's oh, a cat. I'm gonna go pet it. It's so freaking creepy! <laughs> See, you don't insult the precious. You pet the precious. You love the precious, but no. I told you! Listen, it's because you're aura. Shut up. Pet the cat. Kitty kitty. Shh, 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 shh. Listen, I have, I have some catnip somewhere, I swear. Shh, be quiet, good kitty. Mina approached the cat slowly, offering her hand for the animal to sniff. That's it, good kitty. He touched the cat's face gently. For a moment, it seemed like the cat had calmed down. Ow, that hurt. The creature darted to the side and ran headlong into the tapestry on the wall. Uh, where did she go? Instead of crashing into the stone wall, the cat simply disappeared. The tapestry swung from side to side. Let me take a look. We now approached the fabric cautiously and pushed it aside. A secret passage. See, I knew it. And you were laughing. So you found it. Tony, you scared me. We should have gone with you. We didn't find anything interesting. What's going on here? Chad immediately assumed a defensive stance. Nothing special. There's a secret room in a strange ancient castle. Phew! I thought someone was attacking you. I mean, technically, a cat scratched me. Hmm, pretty. Love the artwork. Students entered the secret passage and found themselves in an unusual room. Curiouser and curiouser. It didn't look like an ordinary collection of ancient relics. Everything in the room reeked of danger and death. Try not to touch anything here. Maybe... Or why? I don't understand why you're telling us what to do. Trust me, I have my reasons. Maybe you want to share with those reasons, Mr. Mysterious? Walking around here acting all smart? You think you're better than others, don't you? But you're not, got it? Chad, what's gotten into you? I'm perfectly fine, he's the one who's off. Chad's gaze fell over a lavish crucifix. Your attention was attracted to Ross. Don't! Here, I picked it up, what happened? Indiana Jones much? A secret room inside of a secret room. My brain is like, about to explode. The group had already gone too far to stop now. The spirit of adventure was in the air. Well, we'd be total losers if we didn't check it out. I'm gonna stop Chad for once in his life. Guys, maybe we'd have enough adventure for today, huh? We've already gotten ourselves into deep trouble, and there seems to be no end to surprises around her. I'm really creeped out. Let's find Mr. Collins and... Oh, come on! Seriously. Gotten into you. Come with us. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Well, okay. Come on. That's all it took. Fear pressure. Don't be a scaredy cat. What a lucky find. Your attention was attracted by Bottle. Oh, God, I'm becoming a cat. I'm literally a, like, oh, shiny object. 
What is this, a wine cellar? If this is wine, it's crazy old like ancient. So that means it's expensive and delicious. Probably. Or should be. Well, we froze our butts off today, so we have the right to take a bottle. Mina should try it first. That's what she gets for being a scaredy cat. Mina felt indignant. Who's a scaredy cat? Me. Well, who was freaking out and didn't want to come here? I'm just being rational and cautious. Are you too to cautious to taste the wine? Listen, I went back and fixed my hair too. I'm not afraid of some wine. Mina grabbed the bottle swiftly and took a big gulp. A strange liquid with a salty, sweet taste filled her mouth. The liquid almost immediately felt corrosive. I'm gonna hold it in my mouth. She restrained herself with all of her might, not wanting to look foolish. Mm. At some point, she even began to derive a strange, twisted pleasure from the taste. Mm. Her consciousness started to drift slightly. Her heart pounded with triple the force. The blood seemed to boil in her veins. That's enough. Tony slapped her on the back between the shoulder blades. Ugh, wiping her lips with her sleeve. That wasn't wine. Then what was it? It almost, like, I don't even know, blood? So, uh, does that make you cannibal now? You tried it once and you'll want more? That's not how that works. The students hadn't even decided what to do next when they heard a familiar voice from somewhere nearby. Group, where are you? Scram, hide the evidence. He'll kill us if he finds out. All in all, I agree. Let's keep this a secret. Together, they rushed to meet the professor, covering their tracks diligently. You know, except for the blood that's inside of her right now, but you know, I digress. Ooh, creepy. Um. Okay. I'm loving this even more. Sunrise. Where have you been? I came back, but you weren't here. What did I tell you? You were gone for too long, and we, um... We got worried and went looking for you. I hope you didn't touch anything here. Nope. Private property is sacred. We're, uh, not, um, like, um... What's burning in the fireplace? When we got there, it was already burning. That's my fault. What was I thinking, leaving your kids alone unsupervised? Where were you? Me? Where I said I would be, inspecting the castle. By the way, it's abandoned. Or seems to be uninhabited, after all. So, what do we do now? The storm has definitely passed. It's already uh, evening. Going to the mountains would be suicide. Uh, we'll have to find a suitable rooms and spend the night here. Hooray! One more night! Not in a tent? Preserved sweet. Dilapidated room. You know what? I'm gonna go with dilapidated room because it still looks fine. Well, what was I expecting from an old abandoned castle? Yesterday I slept in a decent room. Tonight it's Maybach. Mina started unpacking and tidying her up herself in the room. Weird how the moon's back out, question mark? Phew, I think I'm all done. Finished with all of her tasks, Mina decided to go to sleep. Ah, so boring and lonely. She tossed and turned desperately in bed, but sleep wouldn't come. And damn cold. The discomfort of the new environment and overall atmosphere robbed her of her rest. Mina felt a certain urge of energy, and she felt the urge to move. Hmm... Hoping to pass the time, and during the night, she began to explore her temporary dwelling. Your attention was attracted by a shiny object. Hmm, if there's a key, then there must be something it opens. It didn't take long for her to make a discovery. 
there's no going back. We've already made ourselves quite at home here. Who would have doubted that one would find an antique dresses in an old castle? We have shackles. Sunrise. Shadow. Mist. Blood. Poison. Interesting. Ashes. Okay, I'm kind of big in that one, actually. But, wow, 63. Amazon. Red Countess. Hold on. Okay, I gotta say, I, li I like the dresses, man. I tell you. Mistress of the Castle. Choose all. Holy mother of 516 diamonds. <sighs> Yowza. Uh, we'll do shackles and then... You know what? I actually accept it. I actually accept it versus what we were wearing. Me and you twirled in front of the full-length mirror, admiring yourself. Well, it fits perfectly. It's as if it was made for me. Uh, life was beautiful in the past. I wonder if there's anything to go with it. A hat or a fan, perhaps? She kept rummaging. Wait a minute, what's this? Click. The chest had a false bottom. Some kind of weapon? We have a rapier, a pistol. Ah, oh, we only have a rapier or a pistol. Let's go with a rapier. What the hell is going on here? A piercing scream echoed throughout the castle. And everything started to glow green. Mina, wearing the antique gown she had found, rushed towards the source of the screaming. Let the wolves eat her. I'm going back to my room. Nice ember eyes. Shadows gathered behind the predators. Oh, I dig you. I dig the shit out of you. No! Don't do this to me! I was gonna be friends with them. Sad enough. We gained five mysticism, no athletics, which is fine. Three to logic, eight or three to darkness, four to light. So we're really bringing everything up except for athletics, which will be fine. So far, so well. I'm enjoying it. Even the free choices, right? For uh, you know, like the dress and whatnot. Actually, I kind of dug it. Um, versus you know, say for instance, golf choices. Um, so. <laughs> You know, it's actually, I kind of dig it. I really do. Um, next up will be episode three, but without further ado, uh, let me know how you felt about the chapter. It'd be great to hear your input. Without further ado, I love your beautiful faces. I'll catch you all in the next video. And remember to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.